What is going on everyone? It's your boy the Finders Dude and I'm back at the game with another video. And today video we're pretty much going over still the Ninjago cores. This time we're gonna explain generosity. Um now before I even start the video, um I know I've been gone for about I've been inactive a bit lately, but now I'm fully back uploading videos for you guys. I'm gonna do my best to upload videos more at night than at morning. Also, um the giveaway, I'll do the giveaway sometime uh next week probably around friday i'm gonna do the giveaway for you guys it's gonna be a huge set probably two huge sets that i'm gonna give away for you guys and um yeah i can't wait to see uh who partakes in this giveaway with that being said let's begin with the video um so pretty much core core pretty much means like fundamentals um these ninjago cores were for newcomers kids who were fans of ninjago who enjoy the show or wanted to get to know it Wu is teaching them in order to get to the next level of training, they need to come overcome their fundamentals. Generosity was one of the six virtues of Spinjitsu that they needed to overcome. Generosity is the quality of being kind and generous, pretty much just being noble and having honor. Um, example like me giving a friend my last slice of pizza, knowing, well, caring about his well-being besides my own. Um, Zane, on the other hand, he wasn't generous and learned how to be more generous towards others. These cords aren't just virtues, they're challenges the ninjas had to face and they had to succeed in. Um, times when Zane wasn't generous, so Zane wasn't generous at first. So I know there's some who probably would disagree. Oh, no, what are you talking about? Zane was always generous, heart, mind, and soul all the time, and things of that nature. But we first need to over here and just look at how Zane unlocked his true potential in the first place. In season one, episode two, which was called Home, Ninja um, thought Zane was weird. So why do you guys think that Zane, why they think that Zane was weird? He laughed at a sad movie that G and Neo was watching. He walked into the bathroom that Cole was in when he was taking a dunk, and he was in the fridge when Kai was grabbing a snack, and he ate it. Once he didn't think about other people, so he became someone who didn't have any boundaries. He didn't understand anyone's emotions because he didn't have any emotions. That itself already made him very inconsiderable for others. Until he realized that he was an android, he didn't understand his humanity until he turned on his memory switch. Dr. Julian, um, Zane's creator, pretty much told him that he was built to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. So ultimately, being generous was his purpose. He, did, he, wouldn't, allow anyone to hurt, he wouldn't allow anyone to hurt his friends, which led him to reach his true potential, putting himself on the line to protect what he loves dear. In season three, Zane still had to learn about other people's feelings, such as being more considerate. Um, the f there was a um, time when pretty much Pixel, during the blackout, during season three, when Pixel was offline during the blackout, Zane gave her a piece of his heart. So he can, so pretty much so that way Pixel could be more functional. Um, the problem was that he was incomplete in terms of spinjitsu and skill. So him and Pixel, when they're together, they can do spinjitsu and things of that nature during um season three um when nia was um hurt in season three in episode eight kai wanted to go back for her but um no actually no it was jane cole wanted to go back for her but um zane told them that the possibility of them going back for her was slim but kai told him that it's not about numbers it's about family and zane ended up saying the same thing when he was fighting the golden master um about like you know the golden master said like your survival rate is zero there's no way that you can survive this but the same thing what zane said to the old um to the golden master this isn't about numbers it's about family so he ended up learning like how to be more generous towards others and more considerate um and that even caused him to even um sacrifice he literally sacrificed himself to pretty much save everybody in ninjago literally to defeat the golden master that itself made him show that he was generous because he knew how to put itself like he learned how to put himself before others by sacrificing making himself nothing to make others well something um season 11 zane sacrificed himself to save master Wu and got sent to the never realm because of Aspira. Wu commended him, saying that Zane was one of the most kindest souls he has ever known. Um, throughout season, although season eleven, when Zane was the Ice Emperor, 
During the time he lost his memory and things of that nature, he acted ungenerously toward the formlings, freezing them with corrupt ice and everlasting snow. But however, he gained his memories back, blah, blah, blah. Um, he was uncorrupted and he was no longer the ice emperor and everything was back to normal, blah, blah, blah. Um, throughout Prima Zane's journey as a ninja, he represents generosity. And, you know, you... When you show generous, when you're pretty much generous to others, you understand exactly that you feel good because they feel good. And with generosity comes reward. Sometimes may not always be rewarded for your generosity. Um, so with that being said, that's pretty much it for um, this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to do my best to upload more videos later on. Um, I know I've been a bit inactive lately, but we're back at it. We're not stopping until we hit up to at least a good um, 3 or 5K by the end of this year. I was busy with schoolwork, but now I'm back at it. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please come like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.